Hello, warm greetings to everyone. Myself Nishad Raut from the Department of Ancient Indian Culture and Buddhist Studies, Sathe College, and I am here to talk about Ganesha in Buddhism. Speaking about Lord Ganesha, Lord Ganesha is one of the most worshipped god in Hinduism. He is also prominently worshipped before the beginning of any special occasion. His vahana or vehicle is a mouse. He is also known by various other names like Ganpati. Vinayaka, Vigneshwara, Chintamani, Gajanana, Ekadanta, etc. Lord Ganesha in ancient times was depicted as a malevolent god who later evolved into a benevolent god. He is not only worshipped in Hinduism but also in Jainism and Buddhism. The popularity of Lord Ganesha can be seen widespread throughout different countries. According to Hindu mythology, Ganpati is the son of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. He was born out of sandal wood made by Goddess Parvati. The story revolving around his elephant head is after he was born, Goddess Parvati asked him to guard the premises of the residence while she was inside. After a while Lord Shiva returned from one of his battles and was stopped by Ganesha at the entrance. After not letting him to enter in a fitting rage Lord Shiva decapitated his head. Hearing this Goddess Parvati came outside and told to Lord Shiva that he was their son and Lord Shiva should bring him back to life. So in order to find his head Lord Shiva found a dead elephant in a jungle. So he cut off the head of a dead elephant and placed it on the top of the body of lord ganesha and eventually brought back lord ganesha to life ganesha in buddhism due to the trade relations between india and southeast asia the merchants who traveled via the sea route used to worship lord ganesha for their safety lord ganesha is also known as the remover of hindrances some early buddhist monks who traveled from china to japan introduced ganesha in the shingon sect of buddhism in japan around 8th and 9th century ad he is also known by various names like kangiten shoten ganavachi and binayakaten in japan there are more than 250 temples attributed to lord ganesha in japan The most notable one would be a 12th century temple which is located in the suburbs of Tokyo and is considered as a national treasure. There are also mentions about Lord Ganesha in Tibetan Buddhism. Lord Ganesha is shown to be downtrodden under the foot of Mahakala which is a popular Tibetan deity. According to some scholars the dancing god or nritya ganpati made his way from Nepal to Tibet There are two sutras in Buddhism which mention about ganpati and one with his dharani mantras which can be chanted by anyone In some Mahayana Buddhist traditions Lord Ganesha can be viewed as a god in other traditions an enlightened protector and in one the bodhisattva himself In Mahayana Buddhism Lord Ganesha is seen as a bringer of prosperity and also as a deity who protects dharma In one such traditions it is said that Avalokiteshvara himself asked Lord Ganesha to be a protector of dharma He is the only Hindu god who is regarded as bodhisattva in Buddhist traditions Thank you